With the advancement in technology and the multitude of airway devices available, the combination we could use in multimodal techniques in airway management is limited only by our imagination and expertise. The most common among these hybrid techniques is the vigilaryngoscope and flexible scope combo. Here are the steps in performing videolaryngoscope and flexible scope combo. Perform a videolaryngoscopy. Ask the assistant to hold the videolaryngoscope exactly as you have positioned it. Insert the flexible scope. Some experts suggest looking at the videolaryngoscope screen and using the flexible as a fancy bougie. This is flexible assisted videolaryngoscope intubation. If you are used to a flexible scope, you can use its view to maneuver. You could also perform this technique when you don't have sufficient view with the videolaryngoscope. This is videolaryngoscope assisted flexible intubation. Once you've entered the larynx, advance the flexible scope until you're near the carina. Then railroad and the tracheal tube to intubate. What are the common indications? One, when you need a high first pass success rate. Two, when you need fast intubation on a difficult airway. Three, when you're managing a highly critical patient. What are the advantages? This combination technique requires less expertise compared to flexible endoscopic intubation alone. As mentioned earlier, you have a high first pass success rate. During flexible endoscopic intubation, there are incidents of hang ups. With videolaryngoscopy, there is the can see but cannot intubate scenario. Combining the two techniques decreases this incidence. With the availability of two view, you could choose whichever is most helpful in the situation you are in. In cases where the videolaryngoscope's view is limited, the flexible offers an alternative. At the same time, the videolaryngoscope makes navigation for the flexible scope a lot easier.